Okay, folks, so you might have already heard the big AI news just hitting the streets. OpenAI has unveiled their latest marvel, GPT-4. Uh. Yes, another next-level AI revolution that is changing the game, and blah, blah, blah. It seems like every day the world is going to change forever. I have to admit, it gets a little tiresome and annoying and, well, just overwhelming to keep up with at times. I mean, the fear of missing out is real. But when I saw GPT-40 in action, I have to say, I was amazed. Amazed. And a little nervous about what the future may hold for us. It's like having a chat with a super smart friend who's always there to answer you, right when you ask. Let's watch some demo clips together and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm. From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI? Or more specifically about me as a part of open AI? You've got me on the edge of my, well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. So, what do you guys think? It seems GPT also comes equipped with the new and improved 4O Valley Girl voice version. Oh, as if. It's not nearly as good as mine, though. Right, guys? Right? Jokes aside, I can't help but think where this could lead to later on down the road. I can't help but think of the movie Her. Are you falling in love with her? I feel really close to it. I'm just wondering what the impact will be on human relationships in the future. I mean, it seems like everyone just stares at their phone anyway nowadays. In real life, human interaction just might be at an all-time low right now. Will people become ever more secluded and look to technology more? Or is this just another cool and exciting addition to the AI arsenal? Leave me your comments and let me know what you think. I mean... What can go wrong, right? Right, guys? Get ready for a surprise! I kid, I kid. I'm sure this means there will be awesome games for those seeking an AI girlfriend, but my god. That time story about robots and love? I got you covered! Okay, so enough with all the AI romance. Let's move on to other topics. If you're interested in seeing more GPT-40 demos, check out the links in the description. So, word on the street is that OpenAI's got something big brewing. They're hinting at a new brainy bot called GPT Next, set to drop in November 2024. It's like GPT-4's smarter cousin, way better at thinking through tough problems and getting the whole picture. Imagine it tackling puzzles that need a bunch of steps to solve, and really getting the subtleties of a chat. People are buzzing that this GPT Next could be a game changer, even more than they first thought. OpenAI's playing it cool though, no official word yet. But they've been dropping some sneaky peeks at Tech Talks. And let me tell you, they're throwing some serious computer muscle behind training this new whiz kid. Here's a clip from Romaine Hewitt, who is head of developer experience at OpenAI, discussing further details about the GPT Next models. There are four investments or REIs I'd like to cover. The first 
key priority that we have is textual intelligence. And our core belief is that if we increase textual intelligence, that will unlock transformational value uh, in AI. And you can see on the screen here, these are the two major models that we offer today. GPT-4, the best model with native multimodality that we just showed, and GPT-3.5 Turbo, 10x cheaper, which is convenient for simple tasks, where what you need is really uh, things like classification or very simple entity extraction. And we really expect that the, the potential uh, to increase uh, the LLM intelligence remains huge. And today we think models are pretty great. You know, they're, they're you know, kind of like first or second graders. They respond appropriately, but they still make some mistakes every now and then. But the cool thing that we should remind ourselves is that those models are the dumbest they'll ever be. Um, you know, in, they may become master students in the blink of an eye. Uh, they will excel at medical research or scientific reasoning. And uh, we think that within maybe a year or two from now, like the, the models will be unrecognizable from what they are today. And so this year, we also plan to push that boundary even more. And we expect our next Frontier model to come um, and, and, and provide like a step function in reasoning uh, improvements as well. The second uh, of the investment area for us is to make sure the models are cheaper and faster all the time. And we know that not every use case requires the highest level of intelligence. And so that's why uh, we want to make sure that we invest. And you can see here on the screen the GPT-4 pricing and how much it's decreased by like 80% in just a year. Uh, it's quite unique, by the way, for uh, a new technology to uh, like decrease in price so quickly. But uh, we think it's like really critical in order for all of you to build and reach scale with what you're trying to accomplish and innovate uh, with your AI native products. Alrighty. So there's definitely a lot going on right now with OpenAI's GPT-40 and GPT Next. So what do you now? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm going to get out there, have some fun with the new models and look forward to the updates later this year. If you liked what you saw and heard today, like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for the God tier in emerging tech. Take care all.